Da Yankees lose. Da Yankees lose. Ladies, ladies, I'm here on the show. And I'm here talking about the first of a, I uh, believe, a three game series uh, between um, rivals in the uh, American League East with the Baltimore Orioles and the um, New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, take game one of this series here tonight, uh, five to three. I mean, this is, the Yankees really just need to win one game in this series. So this loss really doesn't hurt because they're still, how many games up in this division? About five games, so this loss really doesn't hurt them. But it would be good to have, you know, clinch the division, but they still will regardless. Um, but the Yankees, this was definitely a winnable game for them. I thought this was a winnable game. Um, but ho hopefully for them, for their sake, they clinch tomorrow. But they have to eliminate costly mistakes. No room for any dumb plays this time of year, no Glaber Torres or, you know, Aaron Boone's loyalty to Alex Verdugo instead of playing the red hot Jason Dominguez uh, tonight. You know, just the dumb mistakes could cost the Yankees, you know. Like, good win over the Orioles, you know, um, in that uh, AL wild card race, they're, I think they'll, they're going to clinch tonight. Um, that's a team loss tonight. It starts with Boone not putting the best lineup out there, and then managing the bullpen like it doesn't matter, you know, putting him, putting in, who, Tim Mesa, he gives up a run. Um, putting in Mark Leader Jr., luckily he got to play the out inning, but those are not the guys you want in there like those two. I don't know why you don't use Luke Waver tonight. And then, and then Verdugo kills a rally. In the fifth with runners at first and second, no ass in the base running air. Happen. You just can't do that. Uh, that's just the truth. You can't do that shit. Um, Verdugo popped up on a 2 0 pitch down the middle in the, as well. There's no reason to have him take another at bat. The Yankees are giving him way, are giving away too many free outs at the bottom of the lineup, it feels like. And then Glaber Torres. Do you get the highs and lows of Glaber Torres? He's been playing great lately, you know, hitting the ball well. But then, that base running error. Um, they should have sent him. Sent him home to begin with. Because the throw wasn't really that great. Just sent him home. That's what they should well, should have done. But Soto, I don't know if he, he shouldn't have even tried to get to second. If it was a good throw, he probably wouldn't have been out. But Torrey should have just stayed at third anyway. So there was no way he was going to get home after that. I mean, yeah, he played good three for four in an RBI, but that but what what be known from this game is that base running error. That's the highs and the lows of Glaber Torres. But they also could have lost lost when they didn't have Verdugo bunt. At least having bunt there, you know, second and third, one out with the top of the order coming up is what else I would have thought about if I'm uh, the Yankees. And that, but the base running mistakes unacceptable. Like that's why people get mad at him. Aaron Boone's, Aaron Boone's decisions played a part. Alex Verdugo playing and the Mesa decision was bad. Just a whole team loss, I thought, tonight. Um, Clark, Clark Schmidt pitched tonight for the Yankees. He went 5.1 innings pitched, 4 hits, 3 earned runs, 1 walk, 7 strikeouts. Thought he pitched solid tonight. Uh, definitely gave the Yankees a shot in this game. Um, Dean Kramer was the starter for um, Baltimore. He went 5 innings. Three hits, one earned run, two walks, three strikeouts. I'll give that one run to uh, Aaron Judge. And then after that, they used a lot of their bullpen. Where the Yankees really didn't use many of their high leverage guys in the bullpen besides Tommy Canely. Um, we'll start with the Orioles since they have a lot more guys out of their pen they used. Uh, Keegan Aiken, point two innings pitched, no hits and earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts. He's bringing Jacob Webb, point one innings pitched. Um, no hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. And then Sinel Perez, point two innings pitch, two hits, two earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Uh, gave up one run, and then the other gave, and then the other run, um, he left on, uh, he exited the game, but that was his responsibility. Yenier Cano gave uh, point two innings pitch, two hits, no earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts. He bring in Gregory Soto, one inning, no hits, no earned runs, one walk, one strikeout. Gave up, uh, got the last two outs of the inning, got one out in the, um, uh, Ninth inning, then walked a batter, walked Rizzo, and then he was done, gave, gave him three outs. 
and then Sir Anthony Dominguez. Point two innings pitch, no hits, no runs, no walks, and no strikeouts to get the save. Now we get to the Yankees, Tim Mesa. One inning, three hits, one earned run, one walk, one strikeout. Um, yeah, that was an awful decision putting in Tim Mesa in there. And, and, uh, Tummy! Then Mark Leader Jr., point two innings pitch, no hits, no runs, one walk, no strikeouts. He got lucky, get bowed out with a double play. Ian Hamilton, one point one innings pitch, one hit, one earned run, no walks, one strikeout. And then Tommy Kaley, point two innings pitch, no hits, no runs, one walk, no strikeouts. So that's all the bullpen. So, um,. Yankees uh, lose this game 5-3. They dropped to 92 and 65. Record-wise, uh, they had seven total hits for three runs tonight. Scored one in the fourth, two in the seventh. Uh, Baltimore improves to 87 and 70. Eight hits for five earned runs. One in the or for five runs, excuse me. One run in the second, one in the fourth, one in the sixth, one in the seventh, and one in the eighth. Four, I believe. Th how many homers tonight? They had one, two, three, three homers tonight. So I think they've clinched a spot in, uh, as well. They're in the playoffs officially in the wild card. So now we went over those stats. We'll go over the lineups tonight. Henderson one for four and a walk. Rutschman 0 for four and a walk. And Hadley's, which he's on a struggle bus right now. Santander one for three walk and RBI and two runs scored. Hauser one for four and RBI. Going to be your rookie of the year in the AL. Um, Westberg one for three and a walk. O'Hearn two for two and RBI. Uh, Mountcastle and Pinchini 1 for 2. Kajerkstad 0 for 4 in RBI. Urias, Urias, how do you say his fucking last name? Uh, 1 for 4 in RBI. Mullins 0 for 4 for the Yankees. Da Yankees! Torres 3 for 4 in RBI. Soto 1 for 4 in RBI. Judge 1 for 3 walking in RBI. Wales and Stat, Giancarlo Stanchon 0 for 4. Chisholm 0 for 4. Rizzo 1 for 2, 2 walks. Volpe over 2 walks. This dude's been useless at the plate too. Uh, Jason Dominguez, Pinchet 0 for 1, and Verdugo uh, 1 for 4. So yeah, a tough loss for the Yankees, 5 to 3, a team loss here tonight, and uh, I thought it could have been a winnable game for them. But, the, but for the first time in 27 years, 27 years, the Orioles have clinched back-to-back postseasons. So they're headed to the postseason again. Um, so we'll see what happens with the Orioles in the postseason. Now, maybe they can figure out in the postseason. Maybe get, try and get hot at the right time before the postseason starts and try and make a run from the wild card. We'll see. But, yeah, it's really all I see here. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Until next time, pack a lot. Peace.